Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of What's Your Game Plan? Today, I'm gonna give you a quick start guide on how to start a skate shop online. I don't know if you knew this, but the skating industry brings in a whopping $2.4 billion each year. This is one hobby that's not just gonna disappear overnight, which means a lot of money for you. If you're looking to start your own skate shop, but you don't know how, then you've come to the right place. Here's how to get started. So there are two methods to start this kind of business. You can set it up as a dropship store where someone else is responsible for shipping all of the products to your customer, or you can buy, store, and ship out your own skate products and inventory. Once you've chosen a method, you can now proceed to step one. If you have no idea how an e-commerce business operates, or maybe you're a first time online business owner, I recommend downloading a business plan from bplans.com. Their plans outline how the business is supposed to work and what you should expect. At the bottom of this video, you can also buy the skate shop business plan and the vendor list. So you'll know exactly where to get your inventory from. So whether you've chosen the dropship method or to buy your own inventory, the supplier research process is still the same. If you want to get started right away and you don't have a lot of money to buy inventory, you'll want to head over to Google and type in these secret words, dropship skating suppliers. This will give you access to thousands of products to sell in your online store right away without actually having to buy any of them. If you do have some money and you want to manage your own inventory and keep skate products in your own warehouse and ship out everything by yourself, just Google the words wholesale skating suppliers. As you can see, the listings have changed. And from here, you can find a company to buy in bulk from. Okay, so now when you've got all that sorted, it's time to officially register your business. You won't be able to buy wholesale skating supplies or work with a dropship supplier until you've completed this step. You'll need to register and apply for a federal EIN number and form an LLC or a corporation. And depending on what state you live in, you'll likely also need a reseller or a retail merchant certificate as well. This is going to allow you to buy products free. I recommend using my corporation as they do have a wide variety of packages to choose from, but their most basic package will get you started right away. So after you've chosen a name for your skate shop and you've officially registered your business, you can now open a business bank account. It's pretty easy to open, but they won't get you set up without having that legal incorporation paperwork and the EIN number that I just spoke about. You can use a local bank that you're already working with or just choose a new one. The next step is to buy branding for your skate shop. Branding is one of the most important parts of creating a business because it's your brand's identity that will leave a big impression on your new customers. I recommend using 99designs because their process is really quick, really painless. You'll get exactly what you want every single time. And they have a great money back guarantee. And for marketing materials, I really like Envato because they have tons of graphics for each and every single kind of business on demand. Skate shops will usually need to start with a logo, website, email marketing banners, and some social media graphics. 99designs has what they call the brand identity pack that will actually get you started right away. So the next step is to buy web hosting. I always recommend choosing Bluehost because they're the most reliable for e-commerce websites and you can check if your new website name is available for free. With their packages, you'll get extra bonuses. They give you a free domain, a free SSL, advertising credits, 
and access to 24 seven tech support. So you can't beat it. Once you pay for a plan with Bluehost, you'll get your login credentials. You want to save this information and then deliver it to the web designer in the next step. You may or you may not know about a company called Fiverr. They sell affordable web development and marketing services that get done really, really quick. All you do is type in what you want in the search bar and it will reveal tons of people who are willing to help you get your website set up in less than three days. Once you choose the person you want to work with, give them the Bluehost details and go ahead and communicate your vision and your plans for the new Skate website. So while they're working on your new website, you're going to need to activate what we call a merchant account. This is an order for your customers to actually pay you through. It's time to get paid. Many businesses are using PayPal, Square, or Stripe. I personally like Square because they make it super easy for me to accept payments online, via my website, via email, or even over the phone. The account with Square is free, so once you sign up, give these details to the web designer to complete the integration process. Okay, so now that you're all set up, how will you actually make money? Here's what you'll need to know in order to take a check to the bank. Congratulations on owning an online skate shop. I know that you're gonna do just great. And if at any point you have doubts during this process, please reach out to me. I'm happy to help at any time. So at this point, you can choose from a variety of items to sell. Right now, the most popular items are inline and derby skates, skate laces, safety gear, skateboards, and longboards, wheels, bearings, and grip tape. Don't forget, you can also sell footwear, clothing, and backpacks that complement the skating lifestyle. To bring in some extra cash, you can also start selling services like skate and skateboard repair, cleaning services, custom designed skateboards, or even short-term skating equipment rentals. Anyone who owns skates or likes to skateboard will eventually need to buy these services, so why not buy them from your business? Now, I know what you're probably wondering, what's the price tag on this baby? If you're launching online using the dropship method, Startup costs for this kind of business are very, very low. It's somewhere around $500 to $1,500 on average. But if you're planning to fund your own inventory, you're going to need a large warehouse to store all the products and maybe even a couple employees. So be prepared to drop the big bucks. I know a lot of people have dreamed of owning their own businesses and working for themselves, but just don't know how to get started. So I hope that this video encourages you to make a change today and to finally chase your dreams. I've given you everything that you need to get started. So get started. Below this video are the links to the companies that I've mentioned. I'm also giving away my new marketing strategy book series. If you want it, just go to my website, enter in your email address, and I'll send it to you right away. If you like this video or you know somebody who needs to see this today, tag a friend, hit like, drop me a comment, and give it a share. And until next time, guys, take care.